Okay, so I wanted to share a little bit of an experience with you. Um, my first experience working as a sitter, um, working in the hospital, we don't always have a steady number of patients. And when we drop below a certain number of patients, the nurses basically take care of the patients themselves. There's no, there's really no need for a CNA or multiple CNAs to be there. And um, since I have started working at the hospital, I have been asked to be a sitter once. Now what a sitter is, if you aren't really familiar with the concept, um, a sitter is basically for someone who is either a harm to themselves or to others, and so they need somebody to be sitting with them basically 24-7. Um, sometimes they're just confused elderly patients, other times they might be people who um, are at risk for suicide or, you know, different things like that. Um, there's different reasons why somebody might need a sitter, but... Um, Basically, <laughs> I think it was either last week or the week before I got floated to another unit to sit with a patient. And when you are a sitter, you are basically just, you know, normally we have anywhere from like five to seven patients on our own. When you are a sitter, you are responsible for that one patient only. And they, they actually still have a CNA assigned to them um, who will come in and do checks and um, other things like that, check their vitals and all that. You have to sit in the room with them your entire shift, which can be really hard on night shift because there's not really a lot of stuff going on on night shift. Um, so my first patient as a sitter was an elderly man who was confused. Um, he had the tendency to get combative and he was just, you know, I think he was scared. Um, I don't know if he had dementia or what, but he was definitely confused. Um, he was constantly crying out for his girlfriend and, um, you know, he had restraints on when I went in there and most of my shift, he actually slept. It was around maybe six o'clock when the two CNAs came in to change him and make sure that everything was set for the day shift that we started to notice like he was getting really combative and really angry and confused and he was screaming um he ended up hitting you know a couple of us there were four or five people trying to hold him down and keep him in the bed that's how bad he was so i couldn't imagine if it had been an entire eight hours of just me by myself um he was fine though after that like we got him laying back down and back in restraints and he was perfectly fine after that um you know i just sat there and i talked to him i think it does help myself that I have had experience dealing with confused people since I worked um, with dementia and Alzheimer's patients. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of more used to that level of confusion um, <clears throat> and combativeness because before I started working at the hospital, obviously for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that I worked an, in a nursing home on a memory care unit. So um, it's basically kind of the same thing, only you're dealing with like 23 confused patients or residents instead of just one. Um, <clears throat> but it was definitely interesting. Right now, since I'm still technically within my probation period at the hospital, um, probation, our probation at the hospital is six months. So um, within that time, I cannot float to work as a CNA on other units. I can only float to be a sitter on other units um, until my probation period is up. So I think in October, I want to say it's October, somewhere around there anyways, um, is when I'll be able to float to be a CNA on other units. Um, but for now, I can just be a sitter. Um, if you guys have ever been a sitter before, what do you think about it? Um, 
Do you have bad experiences, good experiences? A lot of the people who I work with on the ortho unit, um, they've had good experiences um, being sitters and things like that. Um, just because we haven't really had a lot of like super crazy patients. Um, I mean, you do get certain people every once in a while who might need a little bit more care than others, but um, yeah, just curious if you have ever experienced that and what your experiences were, feel free to share them in the comments below if you'd like more healthcare related topics slash videos, um, let me know and I'd be glad to film them for you. And with that being said, I think that's all I have for right now. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys again soon.